Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Cape May Cafe. Let's do this. You can see we're back in the restaurant now. Check out the front entryway. We've got these decor throughout the venue, of course. Love that Cape May. Let's get to it. Now at Cape May Cafe, you can see they've completely changed the menu here. If I'm on my mobile device, scan this barcode here, right in the middle, and we can take a look at those menu options. $42 per adult, still that buffet style, but they bring everything to you. It does seem like it's a lot more limited in terms of the options, in terms of the selections, but nice to see that it's back open. Excited to get back into that delicious seafood. You know we love some delicious seafood here, so we'll see how it goes. Excited to share it all with you. There are additional options as well. You want to pay for beverages or additional items. You got even mocktails on here if you're looking for something delicious like a lemonade or a nojito. So keep your options open here, but excited to be back at it. Love this one. I'm not sure it's my favorite buffet of all time, but we'll see how it is here today, see if it's changed at all. Let you know what the updates are, what it's like, given the new climate. Take a look at our starting dishes here. You've got a bunch of different breads here. We got cornbread and that more white and wheat looking breads. You have three kinds of butter. You got the cheddar one. You've got the garlic herb, I think she said, and the standard whipped butter right there. Also this salad for us. It sounds like we can go for a variety of different options here. Let me tell you about those. Options include the seafood platter. We can also get the turf platter. So you got your surf and surf platters. It sounds like now they're charging extra for the crab legs and for lobster if you want it. So I think we'll try the surf and the turf and have those two platters, let you know what we think. It is buffet style and she'll grab all of those for us, but she brings those to us. So that's a difference and they charge for the crab legs, which they didn't do before, but hopefully it'll still be fantastic food all around. Just tried that bread as an appetizer. Wow, delicious bread here to start us off. The bread by itself is good, but once you get those butters involved, it gets really good. The whipped butter is salted. I think far more salted than the other two, which adds a delicious new flavor to the bread. Then you have a good amount of flavor in both the cheddar and the garlic herb style butters. Not overpowering in terms of flavor, but you can most definitely taste those other flavors. It's hard to decide which of the three I like the most. I think they're all fantastic and have their own delicious flavors to them. But overall, great bread, really good bread. And I'm excited to try the food when it arrives. So I just tried the cornbread. I feel like the white bread is far superior. I feel like the cornbread is not as soft and flaky as I'd like it to be. And it's not as corn flavored. It's not particularly flavorful. So white bread is where it's at with those butters especially. The salad's fantastic. Nice citrus flavor to that salad. Quite a bit of fruits in there with the oranges and the raisins. I like it. I don't normally like vinegar on my salad either. I don't like vinegar in general, but whatever is on this, maybe citrus vinaigrette is quite good. Take a look at all of this delicious entree food right here. We have in front of us the lobster mac and cheese. Looks fantastic with those breadcrumbs on there. You have the seafood boil right here in front of me. That's mahi mahi in there. You got your clams, your mussels seems like, and some corn, not to mention on the other side, you have got your turf, the turf dish. So surf and turf right here. This is the turf in front of us. We got chicken. Looks like we got steak. We got mashed potatoes and some veggies in there. All of it looks fantastic. Excited to dig in and let you know what we think. So far, we've gotten through the proteins at Cape May and let me tell you what I think. I'm not blown away. Quite honestly, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed here. The way I think about it, compared to what Cape May used to have, we're missing a lot here in terms of some of our favorite items. Loved that fried squid, that fried calamari. I didn't see the peel and eat shrimp, so we might have to follow up to see if they have that. My favorite items wound up being that steak with the steak sauce, maybe the mahi-mahi, and quite honestly, I mean, I love the butters that went alongside the bread, but the salad was good too. But beyond that, I mean, those were my favorite things, and, and it was missing quite a bit from what it used to have. So for a buffet, considering the price, I feel like Cape May is just not what it used to be. It, it doesn't seem to be worth it right now. I'm really hoping they return to their former glory when the time comes, but for now, I don't think I'll be back in the short term. We still have to get to dessert and see what that's all about, but overall, it's, it's okay. I mean, I ate it, I would eat it, but I would not elect to come back, especially for the price. Take a look at this delicious dessert selection. Oh my gosh, looks fantastic. A variety of items here, the Oreo bonbon. We were told that's the one we got two of here, one on each side. We were told that's a must try. So gonna dig in and enjoy it. Let you know what we think. We did get shrimp as part of the entrees. We had to ask for it. It didn't come on that original seafood platter. I think it was supposed to, but maybe they just missed it. That was probably the best protein, but still not incredible, nothing amazing. So we'll see how the desserts are, but probably gonna wait to come back until they bring back more of a full menu. 
overall, the desserts are not bad. I think they're probably one of the highlights of the meal. These are my top four right here. You got your lemon parfait type thing. Mango dome. It's almost got a macaroon on the bottom. An Oreo dome right here. You've got your Oreo on the bottom and some cookie and cream style stuff in the middle. And then this raspberry, maybe passion fruit puff, cream puff style thing. Top two are definitely those two on the left. The mango dome and the lemon parfait style stuff. Nothing incredible here. Nothing amazing. I would say not bad. You know, glad we had a chance to try the desserts, but I don't see myself coming back, at least in the short term here. But now you know. So overall, if you ask me, I'd say Cape May, not bad, but not great by any means. Consider that a price, and it's a skip for me. I want to give it, if I have to rate it in terms of averages for Disney restaurants, the food was about average, price is quite high, so I give it maybe a 3 out of 10 in terms of how quickly I'd come back. I'm going to hold off until I see something that looks like that full menu return. Mike, your thoughts. Would you come back to Cape May? How would you rate it? What would you think? Well, there, I feel like there's a caveat here. I'd come back to Cape May when it's back to normal. I, you know, I, I did like Cape May quite a bit when it was how it used to be. I think you did too. Um, there's a lot of food that I miss. Service was still great. Nice people, great atmosphere, love those things. But the food in general has kind of taken a, a different stand. You know, it's a, when you first, yeah, when, for this was my issue, this happens to me all the time. I take one bite and it's like, oh my gosh, I reminisce. It's the feelings, right? You remember Cape May. But then you take a couple more bites, and you're like, oh, this is very average food, at least for me. Um, and then for the price you pay for the family style, I, you know, and you don't get the crab legs, you don't get the calamari, you don't get the ribs, it, it, it falls for me quite a bit. So no, I would not come out of my way for this one until, when, when it does return to buffet, uh, I'm gonna be first in line, because I wanna try it again. But for now anyway, and how we tried it this time, as you mentioned for the price, I would probably let this one pass and not prioritize it. And I think you're right, there's something to be said for sitting in that restaurant, being back in Cape May after all this time. It's a nice feeling mm -hmm. to reminisce on and enjoy those fond memories, but agree, overall, it's a skip. Now to drop in Epcot for a little bit of an evening stroll tonight. Now making our way into Epcot for that evening stroll. Love to see those gondolas going by overhead. Those are still one of my preferred methods of transportation, and I feel like they're really nice right now too, where you get your own gondola. It's a private ride, private riding experience. Nice to see the boats are back in the water as well. Let's step inside. It's interesting to see how the crowds ebb and flow throughout the parks. Quieter spot right here, which is nice. Certain intersections, looks like England ahead, for example, can be quite busier. But right here, you see, not a whole lot of people, but might get busier as we go. I look forward to the fireworks shows returning as well. You can see they're starting to set up that next show ahead of us. That'll be really nice. It is a beautiful day with that sun setting in the distance. And the new norm is you do not need to wear your masks outdoors. So another advantage that people are enjoying here today. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with us today. Hope you enjoyed today's adventure to Cape May. Have you tried Cape May? And what do you think of it? Love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures. And check out Mike's review of Cape May Cafe as well. Let us know what you think of the two, how they compare. Until next time, play on.